So today I'm going to do a review on the Benelli TRK502X. This is the adventure version. This unit already has some upgrades and accessories such as the auxiliary lights, upper crash guard, and as you can see also a custom exhaust. Uh, this is an open pipe so it's quite loud. And if you take a closer look in front, as I mentioned earlier, so auxiliary lights and then an upper um, crash guard. So other upgrades made to this motorcycle is a vault meter, uh, two mobile fall honers, and here are the switches for the auxiliary lights. All right, so let's take it out for a spin and review it. Uh, just a disclaimer though, this is not the latest 2021 model just released by Benelli Philippines. This is the first uh, version released in the Philippines, but still being sold. Just wanted to make that clear to you viewers before we continue. <laughs> so the very first impression I have is that yeah, this pipe is in indeed very loud. The sound is very nice though, but uh, the sound level could have been lower, but it, it's, a, it's a personal preference and I'm sure uh, some of you actually really enjoy having loud pipes. So other initial observations is that the seating position is indeed very comfortable as expected on an, on an adventure tour like this. Uh, I can imagine going very long distances uh, riding this motorcycle without uh, being in much pain. So uh, first impression, yeah, very, very comfortable. Just so you know, uh, as I ride this motorcycle, I'll be giving my, my impression and opinions. Uh, and I'll also be giving the pro and cons later in the video. So make sure you stay tuned for that. If you've been researching about the Benelli TRK502 and 502X, uh, you would probably instantly notice that it's a very good value option if you're if we're looking at direct competitors in terms of like price range uh, I would say that the Bristol Venturi comes to mind uh, as well as the the KTM Adventure 390 uh, that's however uh, cheaper and also single cylinder and significantly smaller like the road presence of the TRK is much larger Yeah, I can instantly feel that uh, it rides very nicely and you have a really nice commanding riding position. Um, you kind of feel like the king of the road on these type of large adventure bikes. This is a heavy motorcycle uh, and it's very top heavy, meaning a lot of the weight is like on the upper end of the motorcycle. So when it, you're standing still, you can definitely feel the weight. However, now while riding it, it doesn't feel heavy and it feels very nice and stable. So I'm thinking that the heavy weight actually can be beneficial in terms of stability while you're riding it. So obviously, like when you start, if you're in traffic and stuff like that, uh, the weight is not a good thing. But when you're actually going a bit faster, um, it feels more planted to the ground. So I think uh, that can potentially be a good thing. So power-wise, it's definitely sufficient. It gives a nice linear power delivery. So like to not very experienced riders, I think this is also a good option. Not to say that, that it's not a good option for experienced riders, but it uh, power-wise, it's uh, pretty good. Uh, despite the motorcycle being heavy, I find uh, the power to be more than sufficient. The TRK comes with the same engine as the Benelli Leoncino 500 and the 502C, uh, which I own. So um, I can definitely recognize the, the engine performance, even though it feels different, obviously, as this is a different motorcycle, different body, and it also has, um, it has a different weight. For those wondering uh, what the difference is between the TRK and the TRK-X, which is the adventure model, like the, uh, this unit I'm riding right now, uh, there are a few differences. Uh, the first thing I can think of would be the wheels. So the TRK comes with alloy wheels, while the X version comes with spoked wheels. 
spoked wheels uh, caters more to the um, uh, off-road riding so hence the this being the adventure model it makes sense that it has spoked wheels so the another difference would be uh, the center stand so the TRK 502X comes with a center stand, but the, the regular TRK uh, version does not. So it just comes with a side stand, while uh, the X comes with both side stand and center stand. So another difference would be the road clearance, which is higher on the TRK X versus the regular TRK, which also leads to the seat height being a bit taller on the, on the X. So that's something to consider if you're interested in the TRK, if you're tall enough to uh, handle the, the TRK-X. So those are the differences I can think of. Uh, if there are TRK owners watching this video and I missed uh, some of the differences, please uh, let me know in the comment section. I would appreciate that. All right, so let's go over to the pro and cons of the TRK 502X. So let's start with the pros. Uh, the first thing I could say, as I mentioned earlier, it's very comfortable due to the ergonomics being good on this motorcycle. Another pro I would say that it handles well despite being heavy. So you, the, the weight is more felt when you're either standing still or like riding very slowly, but as soon as you get going, you don't really feel the, the heavy weight. So next would be the commanding road presence of this motorcycle. It's easy to confuse it for larger displacement adventure bikes. People are often surprised when they find out that this has a 500cc engine. So moving on to the next pro, which would be somewhat related to the previous one I mentioned, which would be the aesthetics. It's a beautifully shaped motorcycle and it really turns heads. I think this is one of the favorite things about the Benelli TRK is actually how it looks. Next would be the exhaust sound. It has a beautiful sounding exhaust tone and it's actually something that Benelli is known for. And for the final pro it would be it's basically an overall great value motorcycle. It's what you would call a bang for the buck. Um, this is the best seller of Benelli Philippines and I can understand why it being adventure bikes tend to be very pricey and this is uh, one of the most affordable ways on experiencing a true adventure bike. All right, so let's move on to the cons. And honestly, in my personal opinion, I don't have many. But the first one would be that it's heavy. Uh, this is a heavy motorcycle and it weighs, I believe, around 235 kilos, which would actually put it in the range with much larger displacement adventure bikes. Um, so if you drop this motorcycle, also be it being very top heavy, it's probably not that easy to get back up. And this leads to the second con, which would be the power to weight ratio. Uh, the power to weight ratio could be better but due to it being a heavy motorcycle uh, the power to weight ratio despite having a 500 cc engine could be better having said that it's not slow in my opinion and it is sufficient but it would really depend on your personal need so what do you guys think are you considering getting a benelli trk 502x and to those who are watching who already owns a TRK, um, what additional input do you have? Please leave your comments in the comment section. And for those who have not already, please take the time to like this video and subscribe to my channel.